In late 1982, the Chicago Tylenol murders occurred when seven people died after taking pain relief medicine capsules that had been laced with poison. It shocked the U.S. The nation hung on every potential lead and fact reported by the media. Americans were outraged, and Johnson & Johnson, the makers of Tylenol, offer a $100,000 reward to help find the killer. Now, 30 years later, and the FDA reports that Tylenol, not laced with poison, kills more than seven people every month. Where's the shock? Where's the media? Where's the outrage? Where's the reward? If deaths from toxic effects from NSAIDs and acetaminophen over-the-counter and prescription were tabulated separately in the National Vital Statistics reports, these effects would constitute the seventh or eighth most common cause of death in the United States. Yet these toxic effects remain mainly a silent epidemic. Every painkiller has unplanned and unpredictable side effects. There is a thin line between a drug working as a medicine and when it becomes a poison. Liver toxicity from acetaminophen poisoning is by far the most common cause of acute liver failure in the United States. My son Marcus injured his wrist. The doctor prescribed acetaminophen with codeine. When that expired, he used over-the-counter acetaminophen. Easter Sunday, he went to the hospital. Eight days later, with no liver donor available, we stood next to our 23-year-old son's hospital bed and watched and listened as he slowly slipped from our lives. Our previously healthy, happy son was gone. Acetaminophen overdose is the leading cause of liver failure in the U.S. and the United Kingdom and the leading cause of calls to the poison control centers across the U.S. It is estimated that acetaminophen poisoning calls exceed 100,000 per year. There are an estimated 56,000 emergency room visits, 26,000 hospitalizations, and 458 deaths related to acetaminophen-associated overdoses per year. Fitness instructor Donna Bishop tried to fight a nasty cold by taking over-the-counter drugs, including paracetamol, acetaminophen, without realizing she was overdosing. The mother of one was rushed to the hospital by ambulance and died three days later from liver failure caused by a paracetamol overdose. Many Americans may be unaware of the active ingredients and potential side effects of popular over-the-counter pain relievers, according to a new study. Acetaminophen, the ingredient in Tylenol, is found in more than 600 over-the-counter and prescription medications. But ignorance about which medications contain acetaminophen may be why acetaminophen overdose has become the leading cause of acute liver failure in the United States. A recent study demonstrated that only 31% of Americans knew that Tylenol contains acetaminophen. If you take Tylenol for four days as directed, you may be at risk of liver damage. Maddie was a 19-year-old healthy sophomore in college. She was on the Dean's List and in the Pride of Oklahoma marching band. Maddie had pain, so she took nine extra strength Tylenol a day for three weeks instead of the recommended dosage of eight. Her liver failed and she died in a couple of days. 28 billion acetaminophen doses purchased over the counter and 130 million prescriptions. That is enough pain meds for every American over the age of 20 to take 173 doses of acetaminophen each year. Those numbers are pretty alarming when research shows that organ damage can take place in just four days of recommended use. What began with a toothache ends with liver failure as 49-year-old Mark Erdman took over-the-counter acetaminophen and ibuprofen because he couldn't afford to go to the dentist. My name is Rebecca Drake and I'm a pharmacist. Thank you for allowing me time to share my story. My 24-year-old sister died from an unintentional overdose of acetaminophen which was taken over a period of only two weeks. A zany, outgoing, and fun-loving young woman, she was preparing for her first trip abroad, our brother's wedding in Thailand. She suffered acute liver failure and died last year, despite a last-minute liver transplant. This is scary information, and what is clear is that the billion-dollar drug companies have not adequately educated your friends and family to the dangers of their drugs. Are you ready for the painkiller challenge? Make sure that all your friends and family know about the dangers of these painkillers. How would you feel if you were Rebecca, and you had this knowledge but your sister didn't and she died? 
or if one of your friend's children had liver failure and you never told them. The Wall Street Journal says here is what everyone needs to know. It's easy to take more than the recommended daily dose without realizing it. The margin between a safe dose and a potentially lethal one is small. The first symptoms of acute liver failure caused by an overdose seem like the flu and don't set in for several days. Acetaminophens have killed more Americans since the start of the war in Iraq than the soldiers that have been killed in Iraq and Afghanistan combined. This has to stop. Share this video with your family and friends. It may save their lives.